Can you put some buildings in front or in back? In back. Just just move it in front of those buildings. Not like this. Just like far away. Or just orbit around it a little bit. Or dolly dolly side side. Yeah, that's that looks dope. Any questions, guys? I don't remember what the entire state building looks like. That's more of a. That's a statement. <laughs> like right underneath the word shading. See how it turned into a plus sign? Now click and drag down. There. Okay. Now, now there's a drop down menu right here, and you're going to switch to shader editor, and then hit U to unwrap. Underneath the texture menu, create an image texture. Is it on your desktop? Yeah. Okay, so click on desktop. Yeah, I got it. Tab Z and switch to material preview. John, how would you summarize this whole process? Summarize it? Yeah. Well, it's like you make a model that matches the actual image and not any of the blank white spots. And then you switch over to UV editing so that you can kind of bring over all the vertices of the model into the, uh, into the coordinate grid. After that, you're going to go up into the shading, shading editor. So that you can bring in the node for the image, and that will make it appear into the um, into the UV editor, so that the grid can match. The image will match the uh, and be in the same area as your little model that you made. That way, you can kind of uh, scale your model to make it fit the image better, I guess, so that it shows up on the model in here when you've got the stuff. Cool. That was excellent. How do you feel about this whole process? Um, I liked it, but. It can be a little complicated. I don't expect you guys to remember how to do this, even though John, you probably will. But just knowing that how these windows relate to each other is the main part of this lesson. Okay, we've got one window that's 3D space, one window that's kind of like a 2D representation of how the texture is going to get applied to it. And then we've got another window that shows how you apply the image to the shader. Yeah, so I guess I could create like like a drawing of something in Photoshop, right? And then convert it to like a JPEG or even just a PNG, huh? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. it'll like wrap around whatever model I have once I drag it into the UV editor and then combine it with the mesh, right? Exactly. 